What is happening everyone? Welcome back again to the Watchtower and today I am going over the DC animated movie Wonder Woman Bloodlines. That's after the intro. Alright everyone, like I said, I'm going over the DC animated movie today, Wonder Woman Bloodlines. This is the most recent uh, DC animated movie that's come out. It came out on Blu-ray and DVD on October 20th, so I picked it up, gave it a watch, and like always, I'm going to give my pros, my cons, my overall score of it. So let's jump right into it right now. So, first pro for Wonder Woman Bloodlines is the voice cast. This has Rosaria Dawson as uh, Wonder Woman, and... Rosaria Dawson is just, like, so, so good. Not, like, I mean, just, like, in everything. I mean, it's funny, because I'm, like, on a Rosario Dawson kick right now, because I just watched uh, Zombieland 2, and she was in that, and, like, two weeks ago, I watched Sin City again, and she's in that. So, kind of, like, being overexposed to Rosario Dawson right now. Not that you can be overexposed to Rosario Dawson, because she's great. But she does a really good job on this, um, giving Wonder Woman warmth and humanity, but also making her fierce and tough. And then the other uh, big voice character in this, Steve Trevor, is done by Jeffrey Donovan. Not, you know, not big a name actor. Uh, some of you might know him from like Burn Notice, and he was in like Sicario and some other like sm and some other smaller roles and stuff. But he does a very good job with this. I like, I like his version of Steve Trevor. They're really, I can tell watching this, they really pattern him after like Chris Pine's character in Wonder Woman the live action movie because he's very like sarcastic and has this dry sense of humor so they really like patterned it after like that kind of Steve Trevor which I'm okay with I like that I like that version of Steve Trevor very like sarcastic and like dry witted one so but Jeffrey Donovan does a great job with that um, playing that character so I really really liked it, his version of Steve Trevor so once again, these movies always do a good job with the voice cast. No matter what other shortcomings they have, they do a really good job of casting these characters uh, right. So, yeah, once again, voice cast, A+. Next pro, Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor as a couple. I like Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor as a couple. In the comics, and animated stuff, and live action, whatever, I like them as a couple. I guess because I like this whole idea of, like, superpowered beings just, like, falling in love with, like, just regular humans. Superman, Lois Lane, Barry Allen, Iris Allen, you know, all this different stuff. I like the idea of, like, a super, like, a, someone, like, two people that really shouldn't go together. Because, I mean, she, like, she shouldn't date Steve Trevor. She could, she should be dating, like, Superman, which... They did in the New 52 and it really didn't work. But I like, I like them as a couple and their relationship really works here. Just really, you really show why they're close to each other. I mean, you know, they go, they go back to the beginning with her and everything. And she, they're like, you know, from the very start, you know, they're in each, and well, she's in, you know, she's the first person she meets that's not in Amazon. So, but just like bring it all and just their scenes together and everything. I thought I really showed, you know, the history with them and really played tribute to the history of the comics and I just I just like them as a couple in general and they did a good job on this showing them, you know, why they should be a couple and everything. So I like that. Another pro I had, the fight scenes. Uh the fight scenes in this were very well done. I liked them, they were engaging, they were very, very well done. I will say they weren't like the best Wonder Woman fight scenes we've seen. I like it more when she's like using a lasso and everything else, um, and just really showing what like why she's like a warrior. Like she's been like since she was born, she's been trained to be a warrior, and she's like you know like she has like such control of her body and everything. Like she just uses like the lasso and everything, a sword. And I like when they do that. This was more a lot more of her just like you know just hammering away with her fists and everything, which is fine. But her but her fights, some of her stuff with with Silver Swan. Those fights and everything were really, really good. The whole last, like, 20 minutes of the movie or so, 15 minutes of the movie, it's all like, a big fight. And that was really well done. I liked all that fighting and everything, too. So, yeah, it's all just really, really well done. Like the fight scenes. Uh, good job. Good use of the action. So that's been my pros. Now my cons. So, 
these two cons kind of go hand in hand. My first one is that this is this is kind of an unoriginal story. There's nothing in this movie that really hasn't been seen before, either in they were, they took parts from the live action movie or they just took stuff right from the comic books. This is supposed to be like this isn't adapting anything before. This is like this is like you know there's a story on this that someone wrote this, but there's this very the lots of pulled from like different stuff. Like I found I just found it really hard to like. Like, the, the main thing of this, like, you see her origin for the first, like, 20 minutes of the movie. You see her origin and everything, like, um, a lot, like, similar to what we saw, you know, in the Wonder Woman live action. Except it's more modern. They tied it with, like, parademons and stuff attacking the Earth and that kind of stuff. I don't want to ruin too much for you, but they tie that in together and, you know, then, you know, Steve Trevor crashes there. She finds him, goes back to man's world, all that kind of stuff. Pretty similar beats, stuff we've seen before. And I was really, like, watching that, beginning of that movie... And I was like, we, we don't need this because we've seen it in the Wonder Woman movie live action that came out, what, two years ago now. We saw it, anybody who watched the original animated Wonder Woman movie from 2009, I believe, with Carrie Russell as Wonder Woman, they went over the origin, which that all together was a way better Wonder Woman movie. Um, so I felt like the origin wasn't needed again. And anybody who's watched any cartoons or anything, Justice League Unlimited, any of the stuff they've done, they've... They've touched on her origin and stuff. You know, we know her origin for the most part. The people that are watching these, I feel for the most part, these DC anime movies, they're already like they're they're pretty hardcore comic book people. You know, just because like because they released a direct DVD or anything, you're not getting like new, really new viewers watching these. These are people that already know know the lore and everything. And they're seeking them out. So I feel like the, that movie though. They didn't need the origin or anything. I thought it was like just very unoriginal in parts. And just like the whole premise of this whole thing was like after the origin was, you know, oh, there's this there's this person that's close to Diana and something happens and she feels by, betrayed by Diana and she turns evil and tries to fight Diana. That's been seen a million times before. They've done that in so many movies, TV shows, books, everything. The person close to them was actually a bad guy, you know. It has been done, so that wasn't a real original idea. The whole... This isn't a spoiler because it's in the synopsis of the movie. Is this group gets together of bad guys and they try to invade? Well, they do invade uh, Themyscira to uh, take out the Amazons and take their technology and stuff and their everything they have. That's not new either. That's been done multiple times in the comic books. People trying to find Themyscira and stuff. Cheetah notoriously always trying to find Themyscira and stuff. So that's not new. Lots of different people trying to find Themyscira, so not original there either. My other con, and this kind of goes with the whole, kind of with the whole unoriginal, this movie is kind of dull. The, the script, I don't feel is real great. There's talk, 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 fight, talk, 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 fight scene, talk, fight, 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 fight talk, and that's, you know, I mean, those are the beats of most anything. There's action and then there's talking. But the, um, the writing, the dialogue is so dry and just, like, flat. You really, like, you really just, like, you're, you're bored. They're just not talking. It's just not interesting. The first 20 minutes of this movie just, just drag by. It's, like, so, so boring. It's not interesting. I, don't, I didn't find it interesting or compelling with her you know, confronting her mom or anything, about, you know, going to man's world. It just wasn't, it fell flat. The dialogue wasn't, it didn't feel, there wasn't, like, that punch to it. Like, you needed, like, like the live-action Wonder Woman had. Live-action Wonder Woman with Gal Gadot did such a good job of the quiet moments, you know, make, lifting the dialogue, and, and, you know, and with the, and everything. And it just, it wasn't here for this. The dialogue was really weak. And the actors did the best they could, the voice actors did the best they could with it. But it was just, it was not great dialogue. Just, just very, very flat and very, very dull. So, overall, I'm a big Wonder Woman fan. I mean, you know, if you can't tell, I'm a big, big Wonder Woman fan. I go into these and I'm like, you know, you know, I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm hard to win over them sometimes. And, you know, I love this kind of stuff. I'm, you know, I'm a fanboy for it, but I'm not just going to be gaga, you know, over everything. I'm going to, you know... If it's not good, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it the 
it's not good. And this, you know, wasn't great. If you want a good Wonder Woman story, you know, watch the live-action version if you have it, or the 2009 Wonder Woman anime movie, which I think is just called Wonder Woman. Um, that is a way, way better anime movie than this is. This was just... I felt this was very weak, you know, as much as the voice cast was good and Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor as a couple, I liked them, and, you know, the fight scenes, it was enough to save a dull, uninteresting story. So, well, this was still better than Batman Hush, <laughs> um, which was like a two. Um, I would give this probably a five out of ten. Yeah, I'd give it a right five out of ten, fifty percent. It's right down the middle of the road. It's it's not the best, it's not the worst, but it's 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 a fifty percent. Right smack dab in the middle. These these last few years of these animated movies are like really, really like discouraging. Like because if, when they started out they were so so good. I mean the original Superman Doomsday and Under the Red Hood, Crisis on Two Earths and all these one all these first ones that started out were so so good. And and they kind of just like the last couple years. I don't know if like a, tra a change in direction or whatever with the company of different people are in charge, but it's been I feel like it's been slowly downhill and just not 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 great. And I hope they get back because you know Bruce Timm is I believe he's still involved in these. And Bruce Timm is like you know he's an animation like god going back to you know Batman the Animated Series in '92 or whatever. So he's like. Like, he's an animation god, so if he's still involved with these, like, I feel like they should, like, really need to up these. I know they don't have, like, a huge budget compared to other anime movies and stuff, but just, like, you know, you know, start with the script and stuff. And, you know, just, just knock us out of the park with some of these. You know, I know you guys, I know they can do it. I know they can get back to what they were. It's just a little discouraging because these last, these last few years with them have not been good. But, you know, I'm optimistic. You know, DC Films hasn't been great, and you know, live action stuff, um, and you know, they're turning it around, and they're, you know, they're blazing ahead, so, with the last couple movies, so this can too, you know, it's a great time to be a DC fan, stand optimistic, look on the bright side, but hey everyone, uh, let me know in the comments, um, what you thought, if you love this movie, if you hated it, if you're like, Andy, you're completely wrong, you missed, you know, you missed the point, whatever, let me know, you know, that's fine, call me out on it, yell at me, well, don't, don't yell at me, I don't, I don't want to be yelled at. But thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you the next time that I log in for Monitor Duty up here in the Watchtower.